What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Prime Video's new series, The Consultant. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Prime Video for granting me the screeners to this entire new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Okay, so The Consultant is as bizarre as you expected it to be. If you thought the preview or the trailer for this show looked weird, boy, you ain't seen nothing yet. And some people might categorize this as a dark comedy, rightfully so, but I'd like to think of it more as an enigmatic Twilight Zone-esque mystery thriller, along the lines of Mr. Robot, for example, but a little less conspiratorial. On the one hand, The Consultant is a brilliant workplace satire that perfectly encapsulates today's cutthroat office culture, especially in America, where we live to work instead of working to live. But on the other hand, watching The Consultant can be painfully frustrating because it's constantly toying with you and never really giving you the full picture let alone the complete answers. And it bugs the hell out of me, having sat through all these eight episodes, receiving little to no payoff. But that's probably the point, isn't it? The Consultant is for those of you puzzle-solving aficionados who are more about the journey rather than the destination. This show is for those of you who love going down the rabbit hole, even when the pieces keep twisting themselves up like a pretzel. Based on Bentley Little's book of the same title and created for television, showrun, and executive produced by Tony Basgalop, The Consultant is a series that explores the sinister relationship between boss and employee. When a new consultant, Regis Patoff, is hired to improve the business at the app-based gaming company Compware, employees experience new demands and challenges that put everything into question, including their lives. Starring Christoph Waltz as Regis Patoff, Nat Wolf as Craig, Brittany O'Grady as Elaine, and Amy Carrero as Patty. Although the consultant format is described as a regular series, it feels and ends more like a mini series. But hey, look, I've never read the book that it's based on. I don't know how the story goes in the book. Maybe those of you who have read it have already unlocked all of its secrets, while the rest of us going in watching this show with fresh eyes keep asking ourselves the same questions that boggle Nat Wolf's character. Who the hell is Regis Patoff? Is he a supernatural demon? Is he a space alien disguised as a human being? Is he a head of a mafia, perhaps? Or is he just a regular corporate tool? Well, that goes to what I said earlier about it being frustrating. But then again, perhaps frustrating is part of the objective in both the book and this adaptation. Because just when you thought you're getting closer to the bottom of it, the episodes peel back the layers some more and present another head-scratching conundrum. Multiple Oscar winner Christoph Waltz is outstanding on this show. No matter how you may feel about his perplexing character, Kristoff's performance is creepy, unnerving, and hypnotic as the boss from hell who demands that his employees give their 110%. Kristoff can charm you and tear you down by just a few soft-spoken yet piercing words. And these little peculiarities that his character has, including his anxiety of going up and down the staircase doesn't really humanize him so much as making him seem like an otherworldly entity. Nat Wolf and Brittany O'Grady are equally great as a representation of American employees who may start out rebellious and thinking they know better, but slowly transitioning to, you know what? Maybe I should just play along and suck up to my boss. Nat and Brittany come off very convincing and genuine in their fear and astonishment of Patoff. And director Matt Shackman, who gave you the masterful WandaVision series, sets the tone for this entire show that grabs your attention from the opening shocker and doesn't let go. 
So yes, the consultant is a bit of a thinker with a lot of curveball WTF moments. So if you don't like watching shows that compel you to overanalyze, then this is not your cup of tea. And that's fine. The consultant is, after all, an acquired taste.